Five years after the murder of her sister Jo Cox, Kim Leadbeater is Batley and Spen's new MP. Morning, love. Right. Morning. Hey, well, I'm here anyway. He may not have voted for her, but plenty did. She's grateful. And I'm very, very proud of the work that we've all done together, so thank you so much. Yay! And so's her boss. What a fantastic victory. And a very narrow one, too, after a bitter and divisive campaign, Labour holding off the Conservatives by just 323 votes. A tiny margin, but a big moment for a leader desperate to arrest a miserable nationwide decline. Today um, is a really important start for us. Labour is back. In terms of Labour being back, your detractors would say that this is a victory for Kim, that she is the local candidate and she saved your skin. And actually, this is not about Keir Starmer as leader. This is about Kim. This is not your victory. This is a victory for the whole Labour movement. And I've had messages from across the United Kingdom this morning. And it has filled everybody's hope, hearts with hope that actually those values, those core Labour values, uh, can win out and they will win out. But Labour barely won, losing votes to the Conservatives and to veteran campaigner George Galloway, who stood here to defeat Labour and force Keir Starmer out of his job. The Conservative Party chair, conceding Matt Hancock's rule-breaking and resignation, may have played its part. You know, we fought a really hard campaign. I'm really disappointed, and particularly disappointed for Ryan. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this wasn't a great result for Labour. You have to concede that the behaviour of your former health secretary must have had some impact on people in Batley and Spen who are honest, hard-working people and don't like the way he behaved. So, you know, it was something that came up on the doorstep. I have to be honest about that. For Kim Leadbeater, pure joy that she managed to hold her late sister Jo Cox's Batley and Spen seat for Labour by the thinnest of margins. And for Keir Starmer, huge relief that she saved the seat and saved his own skin. Calls for his resignation are muted, for now at least. But Labour are still in big trouble. The trend is downwards. The Tories ran them so very close. Sir Keir Starmer says Labour is coming home. But the big question now is whether he can take this win and use it to revive his stuttering leadership. This result a reprieve for Sir Keir, but still so much work to do. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Batley and Spen.